Hi, I'm Mitch, and I'm back today to show you how to perform the ESCS towel dry test on pre-wetted expanded shale, clay, or slate fine lightweight aggregate, which is known as ESCS aggregate. The towel dry test is used to determine the amount of free water or surface moisture on the aggregate used in the concrete mix. It is also used to help calculate the aggregate's absorption and total moisture percentage. Most ready mix and other concrete manufacturing plants have moisture probes in their overhead bins that automatically measure the aggregate surface moisture or free water. These moisture probes communicate this info to the batching computer, which automatically makes the necessary moisture correction to the mix water and adjusts the amount of aggregate used in the mix. However, when moisture probes are absent or not used, the paper towel dry test method can be used to help find the aggregate's free water or surface moisture percentage. It is important to note that the moisture probes do not accurately measure surface moisture on ESCS aggregates. ESCSI does not recommend their use for structural lightweight concrete or for internally cured concrete, hence the need for the towel dry test. The learning objectives for this video are based on determining the moisture properties of pre-wetted lightweight ESCS aggregate. You will learn how to conduct the towel dry method to determine the percentage of total moisture, surface moisture, and the absorption of pre-wetted fine ESCS lightweight aggregate. Once this information has been collected, it will be used to calculate the correct amount of fine lightweight aggregate needed to produce quality internally cured concrete. Let me begin by covering the list of equipment we will use to do our testing today. Here's the equipment we will need to do the testing. Pre-wetted and drained ESCS fine aggregate sample, a sealable non-absorbent sampling container, a concrete scoop, shovel, or large spoon to collect the aggregate sample. In our case, we use a concrete scoop. A flat, non-absorbent surface, minimum 2 foot by 2 foot, as your work surface. If you do not have a non-absorbent surface, then use a minimum 2 foot by 2 foot sheet of non-absorbent cloth, canvas, or polyethylene on the flat surface. Brown, commercial grade paper towels, folding type or roll type. Heat resistant metal pans for oven drying the aggregate. The pan must have sufficient capacity to hold a minimum of 500 grams of fine aggregate in an oven or on a hot plate at the specified temperature. If a microwave oven is being used for drying, the container shall be non-metallic. A metal pan may also be used to towel dry the aggregate. The bottom of the pan must be layered with several layers of brown commercial grade paper towels as described above. A drying apparatus, a ventilated oven capable of maintaining a temperature of 230 degrees plus or minus 9 degrees Fahrenheit for 24 hours. In cases where the aggregate is not altered by overheating, other sources of heat such as electric or gas hot plates, electric heat lamps, or a ventilated electric microwave oven may be used. A gram scale capable of measuring to a minimum of 0.1 grams, calculator, 3 inch or 4 inch paintbrush, calculation worksheet, a small table fan used to create a gentle breeze across the aggregate as it is being towel dried. Why do we need to do a towel dry test? The mix design specifies a given amount of mixed water and cement required to achieve the specified water cement ratio. Any additional water, such as free water, which is also called surface moisture, will add to the amount of mixed water and inadvertently increase the water cement ratio. It will make the mix wetter than we want and may compromise the strength so we will need to determine the actual amount of free water on the surface of the aggregate and make a moisture correction to the mixed water. The moisture correction is typically made as a reduction to the mixed water. Its primary function serves to maintain the initial amount of mixed water. At the same time, the aggregate batch weight is also adjusted to maintain the proper yield. By addressing these adjustments, it assures the proper amount of internal curing water is successfully delivered into the mix to achieve optimum internal curing. The towel dry method is one of two methods used to determine aggregate moisture properties. The other method is the centrifuge test, which is discussed in another video on the ESCSI YouTube site. After the required soaking and draining of the stockpiles has been completed, obtain a representative sample from the stockpile or plant storage bin in accordance with sampling procedures described in ASTM C705 method C and obtain a minimum sample size of 1500 grams. Immediately upon obtaining the composite sample, place it in a non-absorbent container to prevent loss of moisture prior to testing. Start the testing by quartering the sample into four subsamples. 
Immediately determine the initial weight of one subsample by weighing it to the nearest 0.1 grams. This subsample will be known as sample 1. Record the initial pre-weighted weight of sample 1 as W sub T. Place sample 1 in the oven or drying apparatus and dry it to a constant weight so that the loss in weight between subsequent measurements does not change by more than 0.1%. After drying, allow sample 1 to cool sufficiently so as not to damage the weighing equipment. Measure the weight of sample 1 to the nearest 0.1 grams and record the weight as W sub OD. Calculate the total moisture percentage of sample 1 as follows. Next, we spread subsample 2 on a sheet of clean brown commercial grade paper towel about 2 to 3 feet long. Spread the sample uniformly across the paper towel while patting the sample with another paper towel. Continue patting and spreading the sample, replacing the sheets of paper towel whenever the paper becomes too damp or dirty to absorb moisture. This process should be conducted as quickly and carefully as possible. Repeat the patting and spreading of the sample until no further moisture appears on the clean paper towels. Immediately weigh sample 2 to the nearest 0.1 gram. Since the surface moisture has been removed, this weight represents only the moisture that has absorbed into the sample. Record this weight as W sub TD. Place sample 2 in the oven or hot plate and dry it to a constant weight so that the loss in weight between subsequent measurements does not change by more than 0.1%. Measure the weight of sample 2 to the nearest 0.1 grams and record the weight as W2 sub OD, sample 2 oven dry weight. Calculate the absorbed moisture percentage of sample 2 as follows. We now have all the test numbers we need to calculate the surface moisture percentage. Calculate the surface moisture percentage as follows. The surface moisture percentage is commonly known as the moisture correction. Report the surface moisture percentage to the nearest 0.1% and give it to the batch operator. He will use the percentage to correct the pre-programmed target weight of the lightweight fine aggregate and water in the mix. So there you have it, the towel dry test used to determine the moisture properties of ESCS fine lightweight aggregate. Thank you for watching and please contact your local expanded shale, clay, or slate lightweight aggregate representative for more information.